firing me. Yeah, alright, someone's dropping in. We... Where's that shooting okay, guy? I missed the majority of my shots. He's right here. Oh, oh god! Okay. Alright, hello everyone and welcome back to the Two Average Brothers YouTube channel and today's video will be a series that we're starting called Gulag Breakdown. And keep in mind, we're just two brothers who aren't what you'd call elite gamers. For first person shooters, ADS doesn't come naturally. When you look up a streamer and their skill set, we're what you see at the other end of the gun. Yeah, we're the people dying and cursing on the hot mics. Alright, how did we get here, GIF22? So it started after the drop, I believe we were just going for, you know, a contract like you would, jumping out of the plane, and you were saying, there's footsteps, there's footsteps. It's not that I didn't believe you, I just didn't know where the guy was. Okay. <laughs> and then when I saw him, as, uh, you know, you'd expect, I freaked out and got killed. You know, looking over the gameplay footage, I saw you open your map while you got killed. Now, do you usually kill people with your map open? Yeah, I want to know where they're at. <laughs> like... Am, am I wrong? I mean, it's not gonna help you see what's in front of you. No, but really my hand spazzed out and I started slapping the controller. You know, we're the sweaty gamers, <laughs> but not like the good kind of no, sweat. No, we're the literal sweaty gamers. We're like, we have greasy controllers. Well, sometimes when your polio comes, we <laughs> greets. Oh, yeah. uh, or those egg rolls. God, yeah, that, that was like trying to, you know, grip a tire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and you were uh. the front line. If you lose, you're no worries, shake it off, shake it off. Get that dude, brother. Oh, I think he's AFK. And I killed myself. Hold on. Rewind that. Uh, but that that wasn't exactly the best play. Let's I've take had. let's take another look. Oh god. So the, uh, you, you can hear me. Uh, he, he was AFK, I got excited, I was gonna drop back into the game, and I tried throwing the grenade through the door, and then I was like, oh well, I'll just throw the grenade like I do there, roll up. And, you, yeah. you, you ran into your own grenade. I mean, haven't we all been there? You let, Let's look on the positive side. This is something that can easily be approved. I know. It's, it's, <laughs> it, it is. It's a simple fix. It's a simple fix. <laughs> yeah. So if, if that was a frag grenade, I would have had a much higher chance of survival. I remember being in the gameplay and then you just going, oh man, he's AFK. You got a little too excited and just didn't look where you threw that grenade. Yeah, I mean, I feel like before that, you know, my movement was good. I found my enemy. I recognized his style of play, which is to be <laughs> AFK. And apparently it's working out to flawless execution. Oh, that him being AFK. And I just hope he came back from the fridge. It's yeah, like, it's what like, happened? Yeah, what, what happened? Watch this, the kill cam. What the hell? So we see you on this breakdown. We see you sh shift to the right is that your normal route in the gulag yeah on this new gulag i mean i'm just gonna say i'm not a big fan of it i like most of the time i feel comfortable going to the right and uh yeah i feel like there's more cover there than you can go around like you know this little circular part and then boom i see him in the window i start firing with a shotgun from mid-range for some reason <laughs> i mean uh, then pull out the grenade i charge head on and then boom <laughs> i can't stop just laughing. right right back onto the floor N not my proudest moment as a warzone player but uh yeah that's probably the worst one i've ever had you got too excited to come back so when when you're running out right are you checking your left and your right to see if to see if he moves yeah i'm, I'm kind of looking a little bit to the side to see if he comes out if he's going directly down the center but I, I picked him up kind of like you can see me shift to the left a little bit and yeah. I keep my eye over there then boom he, oh god here it is I oh. mean I could keep replaying this but we have to go through we have to go through how we can prevent this you know so the easy thing is if he's AFK just don't throw the grenade like just go up and shoot him even get an assassination you know like well, so a sweaty player would have probably stuck him you know like oh he's AFK and throw it to stick him so, yeah me, I was just, like, for some reason, I was thinking, oh, what if he comes at me? 
Yeah, you got you know you were prepared for that, and go ahead and rewind it to the beginning for me. I want to give a little helpful tip that I do. Okay, see, while this starts, I always say out loud what my tacticals are. Yeah, that's I did not know I had a syntax. I will honestly say that see, I did not. So now, before you go to every gulag, tell yourself. <laughs> Yeah, tell yourself know what your what tacticals you are. You oh, oh, know what your tacticals are because if they're smoke, you use smoke to cover the flag, and a lot of people lay on the flag. Yeah, because I mean, normally you have, you have the best tacticals. Would you have a stun and a semtax? Yeah, because normally I'm focused Dude, on my gunplay in the gulag, yeah, not my tacticals. But you got it. your tacticals killed. You. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why you don't use them. So I mean, you were fully set. To beat an AFK player, you had to stun just in case he did move. He he wasn't prepared, <laughs> and then that is the greatest tragedy that he wasn't ready. All right, I think that's about all we got in this video of the Gulag breakdown. I think the biggest takeaway is just don't be your own worst enemy in there. You know that that that's insightful. Yeah. I gotta say, like in the moment you're real mad about it, and reflecting back on it, I feel like you're a lot calmer, and you can say that with positivity. Yeah, because after it happened, I was like, I, I was questioning every decision I've ever made in my life. Yeah, I. But I, then you're like, oh, that was kind of funny. That, no, that was that was that was that was brilliantly hilarious. So yeah, that's all we have for this edition of the Gulag Breakdown from the Two Average Brothers YouTube channel. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. We're just starting out, and uh, I think our content—it's it, been fun creating it so it, far. You know, that's you know as. As the title says, we're we're just two brothers. Yeah, we're we're just two guys who enjoy playing video games, and enjoy each other's company. That's what that's what it is for me. You know, yeah. is, is is to be with one of your, one of your best friends. And yeah, that being your brother is, is a real real awesome thing to have. Yeah, especially when you're just as average. Oh, oh, dude, I mean, most of the times, most of the times we're like we're. We're literally like a wave. We're literally like a wave. Like sometimes I go average and you go below average. And, yeah. You know, we balance each other out perfectly. Perfectly average. Yeah. <laughs> oh god. We're hitting a solid 262 at the major league level. Solid. You know, it, it, you know, in this era. Okay, we can't be talking about baseball. But... <laughs> All right. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you the next time. This is the Two Average Brothers. Gulag breakdown. Oh, I think he's AFK. And I killed myself. Did you kill yourself with your grenade? <sighs>